What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're talking once again about the British and Irish Lions tour that has been put into even more doubt. Fortunately in South Africa the coronavirus is not going away. We, our lockdown is getting extended as the President of South Africa addressed the nation on Monday um, and said it's just not getting any better so further restrictions are going to take place. We've also got the second um, strain that's approaching us as well. As we're approaching into the bigger things, the works and all that stuff, it's just not looking good right now. COVID-19 is definitely not going away, which means sport. What's what's the, the outcome of it? How are we going to prevent or how are we going to continue playing sport in a year that could be filled with COVID yet again? We saw this virus disrupt so many tournaments last year, some getting postponed, some getting cancelled. Um, players getting it, all this stuff. It's just been a frustrating time. And as 2021 has kicked off, it's the 11th of January at the time of this recording, and it looks like it's still not going away. And frankly, we're not quite sure whether or not COVID-19 is going to destroy the chances of having a British and Irish Lions tour um, in South Africa. Now, there's obviously alternatives. You either have it in 2022, where hopefully the vaccines would have kicked in, we would have seen something happen, coronavirus could have reduced the second strain, not too hectic, all that stuff, or simply move the tournament to Europe and uh, continue it there. It's never been done before, and I'm sure the UK fans would be obviously thrilled with that because they can witness the Lions taking on the world champs in 2021, and we can at least have the legendary tournament still continue. But what does that mean for South regards to an opportunity of bringing money into the country, of bringing opportunity, of bringing um, financial um, upliftment into South Africa through tourism, through rugby and um, filling the stadiums. But right now, what it looks like, we're not going to see a crowd in this tournament. Um, we, we're sitting in a situation where the second um, wave is hitting us. Uh, we're seeing infection rates higher than what we saw earlier in the year. We were pretty much looking at where we were back in March and April to where we are now. Now, South Africa can't really afford to go back to a hard lockdown because that will just destroy the economy and destroy the country in itself because we'll be losing opportunity. Businesses will continue to shut down. People will continue to lose jobs. Unemployment will just continue to shoot to the, to the skyrocket. Now, having just come off the festive season and watching how many um, guest houses and hotels and all that have lost out completely due to the fact that beaches were closed, no one could tour on the coastline, um, people stayed home rather than going away. We've seen so much disruption and failure with regards to the tourism industry and having this tournament taken away from us is not looking good either. But at the end of the day, we want to watch rugby. We want to see the tournament succeed. We want to see these players go on and witness the the legendary tournament that is the British and Irish Lions Tour. And if that means it has to be in Europe, then it has to be in Europe. At the end of the day, we want to see rugby being played. We want to see stadiums being filled. Now, obviously, the UK are on level five right now. And uh, there's not quite uh, a path where we can see whether we will have full stadiums over in Europe. But there's definitely a better opportunity that we will have it in the UK because of the vaccines being rolled out, because of the systems over there in the UK are a lot stronger and better, and the movement in the UK is better than what we have currently in South Africa. So therefore moving the tournament to Europe is the right decision. Unfortunately, it hurts me to say because I was gonna go to the game, I was gonna witness this for, for a content creator. This was massive for us locals because we don't get the opportunities like we do in Europe and New Zealand, and Australia and all that stuff. So for us to have it here, to bring it up, because when I say that, we're behind with regards to algorithms, with regards to technology, YouTube looks at us second best. So for us to have it here would have created such a great opportunity for myself, for Skinny Boo, Ultimate Rugby, the Rugby Guru, 
um, so many other phenomenal content creators in South Africa, it would have given us the opportunity to shine. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But the show must go on, sport must go on. And I think we, we will need to see the tournament continue. And if that means going to Europe, then let it go to Europe. It's not over yet. Um, we've got a long way to go. But right now we're looking at a tournament that could face no stadiums, that could face not a crowd at all. Pretty much right now, as I'm sitting here on the 11th of January, I'm saying now we won't have a crowd member in that stadium unless there's a miracle within the vaccines. Because South Africa are behind with that as well. Europe at least they are getting, they're rolling it out in the UK. So take the tournament there. That's all pretty much I can say. It's, I want the British and Irish Lions tournament to happen. And I'm sure the board of the BI Lions and SA Rugby will come into some sort of agreement of how it can work to financially suit SA Rugby and um, British and Irish Lions. Some way we can work out a deal to compensate one another um, as opposed to what would have happened right here. So at the end of the day, the show must go on, rugby must go on. And I hope the tournament still gets called on. To wait another year, it's there's so much uncertainty right now. This time last year, we were approaching COVID-19. It was getting bigger and bigger, but it still wasn't as serious. We only started stressing pretty much when it came to March. And then we were in lockdown, April, May, and it just got crazy. Right now, we're sitting in a very similar position. We just don't know. In 2020, this time we go, oh, can't wait for 2021. It's going to be a better year. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows that these vaccines are going to fully work? Uh, and that is the conundrum we're sitting right now as we face full of confusions and, and a time of uncertainty. So COVID-19 could take another thing away from us, but at least the sport will continue. At least we can be able to do our things. Uh, accordingly and hopefully um, all things going well in Europe we could see a British and Irish Lions tournament happening in 2021 where they face the world champ South Africa that's what I want and I'm sure that's what you want I know as South African fans you'll want it here but you know what these things happen let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on what you think should happen or could happen um, it's a very tough one it's a tough one to debate it's a tough one to think about but at the end of the day, sport must continue and we need to see these players earn an income as well. And on that note, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.